before we get started with our parent panel, uh, we're going to go back to the Mentimeter. Uh, we've got a couple of Mentimeter questions. So let's go back to the Mentimeter, take out your phones. Don't forget menti.com. And in just a moment, you'll get your first question. Have you visited the photo wall yet? It's an important question. Yes, no, and there's a photo wall? All right, keep answering. Let's have those answers keep coming in. All right, so most of you have not been to the photo wall yet, and my goodness, some of you didn't even know a photo wall existed. All right, let's go to the next question. We've got one more question here. What emoji rep represents you right now? Which emoji? Which emoji? <laughs> Number three better take their emoji away. I'm going to hope for more responses here. Which emoji represents you right now? With that, I'd like to invite to the stage Steve and Amy. Steve, our Senior communication Specialist, and Amy, our communication Specialist, to, uh, to introduce our facilitators for the parent panel and to introduce our families today. Let's give them all a round of applause. All right, thank you, Charlene. Happy Summit. Great to see you all. Um, just, I'm going to be real quick here. I know uh, in the past I've done, uh, shown a video. A couple years ago it was 30 minutes long and you all sat through that whole video and nobody complained that I heard. So that's kind of amazing. Last year was a little shorter. This year we just did a quick video that we sent out yesterday as our little promo. Um, so I wanted to give as much time as possible to the real live humans, not the recorded ones. So no video today. Um, just a couple words, I, I know I did have other families out there who had clients who were willing to participate and wanted to thank you and hopefully next year we can get you in. Um, and I know that throughout the year, of course, the stories continue and as I always say, we want to gather as many of those stories as possible, so please contact me or Amy. I should introduce Amy too. Amy is LABBN's best communication specialist. And she was really responsible for the video, and I don't know if you've seen the infographic, the big eight-foot-tall infographic outside that was in large part due to Amy as well. So on the note of stories, I wanted to give a quick plug. Um, we have uh, friends from KPCC here today, and I don't know if you've seen out there on the table was this item with some cards. If you have stories to tell about your inspirational work doing home visiting. Uh, KPCC has been doing great reporting on early childhood work, and you can be a source for their reporting. Uh, just simply fill out one of these cards, and it's right behind the screen there. So at that, uh, I think it's time to introduce our marvelous moderators. From Miller Memorial Care, Miller Children's Hospital in Long Beach, we have Lynette. Raise your hand. From Children's Institute, we have Nancy. And from El Nido Family Centers, we have Danica. So I want to thank them and, of course, thank the parents. And I'll let you all take it away. Hello, everybody. Can we hear? Thank you for being here, families. Um, so we're hoping just to have a little conversation, just to get to know a little bit about all of you, and we have a couple of questions. Um, so I guess we'll just start off. Could you please tell us about yourselves, your family, which program you're with, and how long you've been with the agency? So I think you guys have mics. 
Hi, uh, my name is Maria Martinez. I am a registered nurse with the Welcome Baby program from uh, Northridge Hospital. I've been there for about three years, three and a half years now. Hi, my name is Natalia Lasso, and I'm a home visitor for Children's Institute Spa 8. And I've been working here for about two years now. Um, hi, my name is Lorena Gutierrez. I'm a home visitor for CCRC Child Care Resource Center. I've been a home visitor for about four years. Yo soy Lidia Hernández y este pues tengo tres años con el programa y mi visitadora es Lorena. Hello, I'm Lilia Hernández and I've been with the program for three years and my home visitor is Lorena. Hola, mi nombre es Luz Otero y tengo dos años y medio en el programa y realmente estoy muy contenta y agradecida con él porque me ha ayudado mucho a mí y a mi familia. Hello, my name is Luz Otero. I've been with the program for two and a half years and I'm very happy and grateful for the program because it has helped, it has helped me and helped my family also. Go ahead and um, we were uh, go ahead and introduce yourself. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, hi, my name is Helen Jimenez, and I'm with the program HFA. And this is Diane, and I've been with the program for about eight months now. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Hi, I'm Randy Horn. My wife Midori. This is Colin. We're with the uh, Welcome Baby program, and. Yes, and we've been <laughs> we've been in it since uh, the beginning of his life at uh, uh, in January. I'm his wife. <laughs> Can you just share with us um, what made you say yes when the program was offered to you? Was there something specific that was said to you? Okay. Um, for me, it was the fact when they um, offered that there would be in-home services, that they would come and see me at home. Um, I was keeping baby for the first time, and um, I felt like I needed that support, so definitely it rang, it rang that bell. <laughs> Thank you. I first um, got introduced to this program at the Holy Cross Hospital hospital tour. Uh, it was 35 weeks or so, and um, when they introduced us um, about the program, they did mention about the registered nurse, home visiting, and I immediately got excited because uh, we practice Buddhism, and uh, in our organization, home visitation is a very key element of strengthening somebody's daily life. Um, so if I could get a home visit from the real nurse, and I got so excited, what they can you know, tell me about you know, with the newborn. So I, got, uh, I signed up immediately, and um, that's when we had Maria at the first visit. Thank you. Can you share with us what made you say yes to the program? ¿Qué es lo que le gusta del programa? A mí me gusta porque me da mucha información. Y por ejemplo, como mi niño casi no muy no lo muy le entiendo lo que habla, porque él está confundiendo los dos idiomas. Y entonces pues me recomendaron que fuera al centro regional y pues yo no me esperaba eso que es esto. So, what I like the most is the information that I'm being provided. Um, I have my kid and I don't really understand what he was telling me because he's confusing the two languages. So I was referred to a regional center, which I didn't know what it was exactly. So that's what I liked, the information that I'm receiving. Thank you. A mí me introducieron en el programa en el Hospital Valley Presbyterian cuando me alivié de mi bebé. Y realmente el programa me ha ayudado mucho para entender el crecimiento de mi niño en muchas áreas que a pesar de que tengo tres hijos, um, para mí fue como algo nuevo el aprender 
con toda la información que me brinda Lorena Gutiérrez, cada vez que va y me, y me da tanta información para yo poder entender el proceso de crecimiento de mi hijo. So, what I like about the program, I was introduced to the program at Valley Presbyterian Hospital, and um, even though I have three kids, what I like is all the information that I receive, because um, it's a lot of new information, and they're helping me understand the development of my third child. And uh, whenever Lorena, my home visitor, goes to my house, she's always giving me a lot of information. Great, thank you. Can you guys each tell us a little bit about your experience with Welcome Baby or the um, home visiting program that you're with? Uh, so I come from a pretty unique situation. As I guess you could say I'm a first time parent twice. Uh, I have a 20 year old son uh, and now a four month old son. So back then we didn't have access to this program and as a 22 year old father it was difficult. So, you know, like my wife said, when we signed up for this program, um, it was so beneficial. Also, my wife healing from uh, cesarean and having the nurse come in and check her as well uh, was so beneficial. So, you know, to have, um, you know, to have them come in and check, uh, you know, check not only, you know, on Colin, but to also make sure that my wife was healing correctly was just super beneficial. Um, you know, the encouragement with uh, breastfeeding, which, you know, at points we were ready to give up, but uh, Maria was so helpful in, in encouraging us and, and showing us, you know, different ways to get the baby to latch that wasn't painful. And, uh, you know, so to, to have that kind of, um, you know, that kind of help was just phenomenal. I mean, we probably would have switched to formula if we didn't have that kind of encouragement and help, you know, at our home because my wife couldn't travel you know, with a cesarean, it was very difficult. So to be able to have that kind of benefit, and now he hasn't touched formula at all, you know, which is great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <that's> <laughs> he knows it's for him. <laughs> uh -huh. so, yeah, so, yeah he, uh, he agrees. <laughs> so yeah, that was probably the main benefit that we, you know, that I feel that we had because of the importance of breastfeeding uh, and being able to have that encouragement and help was just, I mean, we would have gave up if it wasn't for you, so thank you. You know, that was awesome, you know. And, yeah. I also had a um, couple girlfriends uh, who was also trying to breastfeed from the beginning. However, um, nobody told me that it's going to hurt. <laughs> so uh, going into two weeks in, uh, I almost had nervous breakdowns, you know, since it was so painful. But uh, Maria definitely encouraged us, you know, and uh, this position, that position, you know, try different things, you know, definitely didn't want to give up. And I have, you know, quite a few girlfriends who were told uh, by their um, OBGYN or a pediatrician that, you know, okay, you have to switch the formula already because, you know, you're not producing enough milk. And that's so, uh, you know, something that going with breast milk or formula is a big decision for moms to, okay, how am I going to, you know, start this, you know, uh, parenting thing. And uh, so definitely we benefit the one-on-one um, -on -one home visit, you know, by Maria and Dania. Uh, because because it's a one on one, we can ask you know personal questions. We can be out and show him boobs and you know how do we do it? You know, pretty open and you know it's really hands on, you know, at home. So definitely that was the part that we love. Okay, thank you. Um, my experience with the home visiting program has been uh, one that has helped me boost my confidence. Um, being that I had this baby and in my situation at that moment, I was living in a sober living home, um, away from family, um, by myself, I, trying, to, um, trying to better myself. So, I mean, I, I lacked in that department. And um, like I said, um, what made me say yes was saying, what was hearing that I get somebody to come visit me at home. but. What um, I got from it was way more um, the confidence that I felt feel now, like 
that I'm doing things right when she goes over stuff with me. Like, hey, she's six months now and she's probably doing this. I'm like, you're right. <laughs> yes, you know, so I'm, I'm at that point. Okay, we're good. Um, so it boosts my confidence. My experience all, all around has been um, one with uh, a lot of, uh, of trust. Trust that I'm being a good mother. Trust that somebody else is supporting me. Uh, that's major. In, in, in my situation, so thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yay. Repeat the question. Um, if she could tell us a little bit about her experience with the home visitation program. So my experience was, he was born, 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 he no, casi faltaba una semana para los ocho meses y pues a mí me gusta porque pues eh, Lorena me, me da mucha información para él, me ayuda para poderlo, porque él tiene que estar atrasado supuestamente un mes o dos meses, pero según pues con lo que me, está, lo que me ayuda, pues él está normal. Gracias. So my experience has been, uh, he was a seven month old baby, so he was premature. I was one week before the eight months. Um, so Lorena, with all the information that she provides me, helps me uh, understand the development. He is supposed to be behind two months, but according to what Lorena has told me and the information that he has provided me, it's like he's a normal kid. La primera visita que yo tuve de Lorena uh, fue algo así como ver a un ángel que llegó a mi casa. Um, y no me equivoqué, porque ella realmente, cada visita, hasta extraño el día que no la veo, porque cada vez que ella llega me trae información, le pregunto cosas y me dice, no te preocupes, para la siguiente vez uh, te puedo traer más información. So, realmente este programa a mí me ha ayudado mucho. También tengo tres hijas que son adolescentes. Y a pesar de que yo ya era mamá y tenía experiencia, con este niño fue totalmente diferente. ¿Por qué? Porque ya habían pasado 13 años. Entonces, fue difícil, pero con la ayuda de Lorena y de este programa, todos los recursos que tiene, yo estoy completamente agradecida. So uh, since the first visit with Lorena, when I saw Lorena the first time, I thought that she was like an angel uh, coming to my house. And I wasn't mistaken because each visit that she, um, that she comes to my house, she's always there to help me. She has a lot of information for me. I'm always asking her questions. And even when she doesn't have the answer, she tells me, don't worry, next time I'll have the answer for you. Um, and I have three teenager daughters, so this uh, pregnancy was completely different, even though I'm, I'm an experienced mom, uh, but there's a 13 years difference between this, uh, my fourth child. So there definitely has been a difference, and Lorena has been very helpful for me. Okay, can you share with us um, what has been your favorite part of the program that you're participating in? What, what's the best part of it? Yeah, um, <laughs> there's a couple of parts. I'll, I'll cover one, Midori can cover the other. Oh, no? no. Uh, okay, I guess I'll cover both. Um, the first thing that we really super like about this program is that it's funded through the tobacco tax. You know, and I, I love that. Like, I'm, I'm rooting for it to get to ten, ten dollars a pack. Come on, you know. Uh, so, I, but I'm really happy. <laughs> I'm so happy. We're really happy to see that those taxes are going to something so beneficial for, um, you know, for children and to directly benefit from that. As an ex-smoker, who, I lost my mom who smoked, and I smoked. When I lost her, I quit. You know, so to be able to see, you know, the taxes from that, you know, 
benefit lives instead of you know just cigarettes taking them. Um, you know, is just something that we really super enjoy. Uh, you know, uh, having the benefit of that. You know, on top of that, you know, just as far as the joy from the from the visits that we have. I think my favorite thing was waiting for Marie to come and weigh him. <laughs> You know, be, to be able to, you know, track that weight and make sure that he was gaining and, you know, just the, you know, the joy in seeing that growth was so super beneficial. And that, that's, that's the joy and what I really loved about it. And sharing that with uh, Maria and having her be able to come and yeah. track that with you. And... Yeah. You want to take me? <laughs> yes. Dory, did you have a favorite part of the program? The part is that the, um, I shared earlier that um, <clears throat> home visit could be very one-on-one. Um, -on -one. You can ask questions, and uh, they can show, Maria and Dania can show me right there. That, um, so that was the best part. Thank you. <laughs> um, my favorite part is her coming in and just, Lending that ear, um, I have intimate, deep, um, um, fragile conversations with her, and she gives her support 100%. Her dedication, her in, her output on it, um, that's my favorite part. It's just everything. We cover everything from whatever needs to be covered, from how the baby's doing, to what she needs, to what's going on with me now and how is what you did last week, how did that go? So just feeling that, honestly, a friendship. Uh, uh, like I said before, it, you build a trust, and it is better than going to therapy. Pues a mí me... Pues me gusta porque pues le lleva muchas actividades para el niño. Y pues mi parte favorita es cuando hacen la conexión familiar y pues porque llevo a los niños y se divierten mucho y aprendemos mucho pues de primeros auxilios que los enseñan y pues a mí me encanta aprender. So my favorite part are the activities. Uh, they have a lot of activities for the kids, so that's my favorite thing, that we all get busy, we all have activities. Uh, there's, they also have gave us information about first aid, so that's what I like. Mi parte favorita del programa son los grupos de conexión, aunque francamente a veces no tengo tanto tiempo de asistir, pero cuando puedo, pues voy con mucho gusto. También me encanta la educación que nos dan a nosotros como padres para poder entender el desarrollo de nuestros niños, que son tan chiquitos pero tan inteligentes que muchas veces dices, ¿realmente me está entendiendo lo que le digo? Y el, la capacidad que tiene Lorena de hacerme entender a mí todo lo que está pasando con mi niño por la edad que va teniendo es una educación que no tiene precio, la verdad. Es un programa que, que está lleno de humanidad, porque todas las personas uh, que están del programa del CCRC a mí me han apoyado mucho, siempre me han recibido muy bien y es un programa realmente humano, que les importa lo que necesitan nuestros niños, lo que necesita nuestra familia. Las necesidades que a veces uno puede tener, ellos realmente les importa y eso me encanta. So what I like the most about the program are the social connection groups, even though sometimes I don't have time to attend, but whenever I'm, I'm available, I do go. And also the education that we get about child development. Um, sometimes I wonder, you know, they're so little, but they're so smart. And I wonder if they really are understanding everything that I'm saying. Uh, but Lorena, it's, it, that's what she's so good about this because she's always explaining to me about the stages of development and where my baby is supposed to be. So I, I really believe that there is no price to this program. I believe that the program is all about humanity. It's, it's a program uh, at, that really values the humanity in people and everyone at CCRC is always treating me really well. 
Um, and I feel like we matter, like the needs, our needs matter. Um, so that's really what I, what I like. Thank you. I know all of you guys just shared your favorite thing about the program. How about is there a favorite parent-child activity that you could share with us? For, uh, well, right now the activities are eating and sleeping. Um, <laughs> but, uh, you know, the one thing that we really uh, have fun with that we uh, were encouraged by, uh, again, through uh, Marie and Daniel was uh, doing tummy time. So, and having our, our, you know, our fun with that, you know. so. You know, it's, it's nice to have that interaction, you know, with her, you know, with him, like, on my belly, you know, on his belly, on my chest, and, you know, so just really having those, um, you know, those real close bonding moments are, you know, are really special and, and awesome for me, yeah. Um, for me, it would be reading. Um, since a tender age was very little, um, I started opening up hard books for her and um, to see how, like at such, such small few months, maybe a couple of months, um, she would reach out to them. Now she actually turns the page and I feel like she's reading something. <laughs> like she'll look at a board and look at the words and I'm like, really, do you know what's going on? <laughs> or are they doodles? But um, reading, reading, what I would say is, she lays next to me, um, I read to her. She'll look at me like, what are you saying? And then go back to the picture. It's just a deep connection with her right there, like, of like, exploring um, visually and hearing. Pues la actividad favorita para mi niño y para mí es este, pues a él le gusta aprender a colorear y pues él, él no sabe los colores porque estaba confundido con los colores y entonces pues ahora él ve a sus hermanos y dice pues voy a ser como mi hermano y mi hermana y se ponen a leer y supuestamente él está leyendo y está hablando, leyendo su libro y a mí me encanta verlo. So right now, uh, he's learning about colors. Um, he doesn't really understand colors. He gets confused. Um, but I, I like that stage where he's at. Um, he is always um, playing with his siblings, with his brothers and sister. And they, so he pretends to read. I know that he doesn't know how to read, but he's always there. And I really I enjoy watching that, that he, how he shares with his siblings. Mi actividad favorita como mamá, uh, me gusta mucho ver cómo juega él conmigo con los colores. Uh, él me dice un color y yo le digo otro y me dice, no mami, this color is like blue or something. Entonces a mí realmente me, me gusta mucho jugar con él, leerle. Y ahorita que ya dejó el, el diaper, yo estoy feliz. Porque él es, para él es un logro y para mí otro más grande. Pero me gusta mucho eso, el tener que correr con él de que go pipi, ok, go pipi, es realmente es divertido. So, as a mom, uh, what I'm liking right now is um, playing with him and playing with colors. Um, you know, we're playing and I show him a color and I tell him this is blue and he tells me, no mom, that's not blue. Um, so, I, I'm really enjoying that, reading, playing with him. And he just uh, left the diapers, so I'm very happy. I know that it's a big achievement for him, but for me, it's even better. And so we, I'm enjoying that stage where, you know, he's telling me when he needs to go pee-pee, and, and we go pee-pee, and, and I'm enjoying that. Okay, so now I have a question for you um, about your, your worker, your home visitor, your nurse. Um, do you appreciate most about them? Oh, oh wow, this list can go on. <laughs> um, you know, again, just the, the compassion that we felt from Maria and Daniel both was just phenomenal and very genuine, you know. I mean, we really get the feeling that these people love what they're doing, you know, and it's very apparent and it comes across, you know, as that, um, you know, just having 
you know, having someone who really believes in what they're doing, you know, come and visit us and really put their heart into, you know, and effort into, you know, helping us to learn and to refresh or, you know, to see things that we don't see, you know, that, you know, th those benefits are just so incredible. I don't know, I don't think that, you know, that we would have been able to have this kind of great transition or this great, you know, first couple of months without this Welcome Baby program, without Dania and Maria, it was just, it's absolutely incredible just to have that support, you know. Um, and again, with, uh, with my wife who is recovering from a cesarean section, you know, it's even that more beneficial to be able to have someone come to our house and really look after her and look after the baby and to just see the, the true love and compassion in, in, you know, in these providers' eyes is just phenomenal. And, and I don't see how anybody could pull anything negative from this. It's pure positive and help and encouragement and support. And I really hope that this program just lasts forever. Okay. Um, Please. <laughs> sure. So um, what, what is it that you appreciate most about your home visitor? Um, her dedication. Um, I really appreciate that. Um, she's right there with me, like every step of the way, if not a step ahead. Um, she, she's right there with me, um, backing me up, rooting me on. Um, like I said, like a personalized um, thing. Like it's, it's just so into, like it's very. I take it very personal. It's just she's through thick and thin, and here's me. She saw my change within the year, you know. Um, so her dedication, the way she's detailed about everything, um, thinks of everything and more, uh, goes above and beyond. Um, yeah, that's, that's what I really do um, love about her. Thank you. Thank you. Pues a mí me... Me gusta porque ella es bien atenta, pues cuando llega, pues dice, buenos días, Lidia, buenos días, Emanuel. Y pues ella, pues no sé cómo explicarlo, pero pues estoy muy agradecida con ella, la verdad. So, um, what I, I like about my home visitor is that she's very caring. You know, she comes to my house and she's always smiling, saying, good morning, Lidia, good morning to the baby. I, I really don't know how to explain, explain the feeling, but I'm very grateful for her. Yo lo que más agradezco, primero que nada, es su hermosa sonrisa que tiene. Durante este tiempo, yo nunca la he visto seria, siempre llega con una sonrisa como el sol. Y eso me encanta verla, me, me llena de, de energía, su entrega, cómo juega con mi hijo cuando llega, las actividades que le, que le lleva siempre constante, de mira, esto es nuevo, esto va a aprender. Le agradezco infinitamente que está en la profesión correcta, <risa> porque muy pocas personas realmente aman, aman real lo que hacen. Y ella, ella me demuestra que sí, que hay personas que, que son felices haciendo lo que hacen, y eso se lo agradezco. So um, I'm very grateful, but especially grateful because of her beautiful smile. Um, I have never seen her serious. Uh, she's always smiling, and her smile is like the sun. Um, she's always, uh, you know, so energetic, and she's always contagious, um, sharing that energy with me. She's dedicated. Um, she's always there playing with my kid and t teaching me new things, teaching my kid new things. And um, I know that she's very constant, and I think that she's on the right profession because she loves what she does. And I, I know that there's not that many people that really love what they're doing, and I can tell that she totally loves what she does. So I'm very grateful for her. Can you share with us how the program has benefited uh, your family as a whole? And if you have other children in the family, how the program has benefited them? How has the program benefited your family as a whole? 
Well, I can say that it's brought us closer together. Um, you know, being able to have this kind of support has allowed us to really grow on time with our baby. You know, um, so being able to take the, you know, the next steps in his, you know, early development and being guided by that through, you know, questions and answers that, you know, uh, you know, that Maria was able to, to provide um, has really helped us to, you know, enjoy these times and to uh, have less fearful questions. You know, as like, is, is my baby gaining enough weight? <laughs> um, you know, uh, why is he pulling at his ear? You know, the, you know, why is he's chewing on everything? Is he teething now? No, not at two months. But you know, I mean, these things really put a lot of our, um, you know, our worries to rest, so that we could really focus and enjoy the the bonding more than the than the worry. You know, so you know that's been. You know, really beneficial from the program to you know to help us worry less because we're able to get immediate answers or, or swift answers through the visits and focus more on just being a family. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. um, it's benefited me in a in a couple of ways, in a few ways, in a lot of ways actually. Um, the main ways I can think of is uh, keeping my my composure as a, as a wondering and worried mother, like, am I doing that okay? Is it is it where I'm supposed to be at with the baby? Um, questions that I do have. Um, like I said, it really is something better than therapy. Anything and everything that relates to my worries with her and something that I have going on, I can always resort to her. So I, I benefit a lot from her support, even when she's there. Maybe there's something I couldn't oh. do during the day, and I'm like, do you mind? Can you give me about two minutes? <laughs> Sorry, can you hold the phone? See? <laughs> like that. <laughs> like right now. <laughs> um, yeah, like, like I said, there's things that, you know, um, a lot of help from her, a lot of help, a lot of love. Um, some, somebody that I can tr trust to keep in the room with my daughter, like, hey, do you mind if I go step out? And yes, yeah, um, that's, that's okay. a great benefit for me, um, along with with the getting the friendship. <laughs> I'll hand them the mic. Pues este, pues yo tengo otros dos niños más. Pues a mi niña tiene ocho años y ella le encanta este hacer arte y ella me lleva pues muchos papeles para que ella haga arte porque ella le encanta hacer diferentes dibujos. Y, y luego a mi niño pues también él no, no le gustaba este hacer arte y ahora pues ya ya le ya le interesa más y pues hacemos todos hasta él se pone también dice que va a hacer arte y mi esposo pues también este pues la verdad nos ha, nos ha unido mucho porque pues antes pues antes que tuvieran este programa éramos muy desunidos y ahora estamos unidos más que nunca So, I have two other kids. My daughter is eight years old, and she loves arts. So, uh, she's always um, bringing materials for us to do arts. So, even my son, who didn't like art at the beginning, now he likes it, and he's getting interested on it. So, we all sit together, and we all do activities about art. And with my husband... Dad, dad, uh, dad. If before uh, I started the program, I think we weren't getting along that well, and now we're getting along really well. So I think it has benefited us with that. Then. A nosotros como familia nos ha ayudado bastante porque somos seis, entonces cinco adultos y un baby de dos años y medio, bueno ya tres, era difícil el poder. Uh, compaginar los tiempos y poder decir, ok, tenemos todos que estar al pendiente del bebé, pero también yo como mamá sin dejar de dejar las importancias de mis hijas que están más grandes. Entonces, este programa me ayudó a poder tener un equilibrio con mi esposo para que él entendiera también cómo va creciendo el niño y que hay cosas que tenemos que poner disciplina, ¿verdad?, En, en ciertas áreas y donde podemos decir, ok, está bien, 
a mí me ha ayudado en lo personal como mamá para poder entender las diferencias de caracteres de mis cuatro hijos, porque cada uno es muy diferente y cada uno es muy demandante. Y también mi esposo. Pero, pero gracias a este programa, información que Lorena constantemente me está llevando, cualquier pregunta que tenga, yo se la pongo así en el escritorio a mi esposo como, hey, aquí hay algo para ti también. Y créanme, realmente es muy bueno este programa. So, in my family, we are six, five adults, and at two and a half, we're now three years old. So, it's been difficult, especially with time management, with everyone having their own schedule, and we all need to be attending the baby, but we also need to be attending each other's um, priorities. So, the program has helped me to find a balance to be able to manage time, And also, it has helped my husband to understand uh, growth, the growth of my baby, the, the uh, child development stages, and also with discipline. Uh, we know that there are some times that we need to discipline, but there's other times where we, need, we can just be um, uh, okay with it. Um, as a mom, I think I'm trying to understand the different characters of all four kids. They are all very different. They are all very demanding, including my husband. He's very demanding, too. Uh, but it, it has helped him, too, because Lorena is always bringing a lot of information for us. Sometimes I do have questions for her, and she brings the answer. And, you know, sometimes I sneak that answer into my husband's uh, desk, or I leave it nearby because it's also for him. I know it's going to benefit him, too. Thank you. You guys, can give a round of applause to these kids. They're doing such a great job up here. <laughs> so now we just have a quick question as to how we can improve things as, a pro, uh, as different programs. Are there any suggestions that you guys have that we can do better? I think Emmanuel's got a couple of suggestions. <laughs> But is there anything that we can do? Yeah, I mean... Um, Oh, no baby. <laughs> um, I really, though I, you know, I really mold over this question to try and think, you know, what is, what could really benefit, you know, where could this program improve, and what could the ben you know, what could be further benefits of it, and really just the only thing that I can really think of that would really uh, make an improvement for this program would just be. Uh, The, uh, an increase in the amount of visits, or, uh, or should I say, or even an increase in the amount of staff. Because, uh, you know, for instance, we had a, uh, a visit, a three-month visit, or, or we had a visit scheduled, uh, a checkup visit scheduled, but unfortunately, Colin got a cold, so we asked to postpone it. And, you know, I figured, yeah, we'll reschedule maybe the following week or, you know, six, seven days later, but, you know, because of the busy schedules, we weren't able to have her come back for another three to four weeks. Because of scheduling. Yeah, booking. because of the scheduling. So, you know, that kind of, you know, makes me think maybe, you know, maybe they need more staff or, you know, more funding or... I'm looking at you know, Jan. Uh, <laughs> you know, so... First five. <laughs> so, you know, that's really the only, that's really the only thing that I could see where the program could uh, use some improvement was just in the amount of visits that You know, parents, because some will need more than others, and you know, just an increase in the staff so that those needs could be filled. Perfect. Thank you. I don't know if um, all of my friends re really utilized the hospital tour, but that was the reason you know we got to know about this program. And if we didn't take the tour, you know, we didn't know what was coming up. We didn't know anything about the program, so. Um, I think the definitely a way to promote can be more improved. I'd love to see you know you know welcome babies uh, programs flyer at my OBGYN's office, you know pediatrician's office, or you know so that I heard my girlfriend was like, I wish I knew about that program. I wish I had somebody home visited me. You know, then I didn't have to give up and listen to my you know doctor and you know. So, uh, yeah, I definitely told her about that because she's having a second baby. So I think the way to promote is can be definitely improved. 
Um, I can't think of anything right now. I believe that um, everything that you guys have going on and that you guys practice with us is has been working, is working. Um, of course, there there could be a room for improvement, but I see everything that you guys do now. It's like great, great work. So thank you. <laughs> thank you. Pues para mí sería pues es que como yo no manejo, <laughs> este pues sería para como transportación cuando hacen las cuando cercanas la conexión es familiar. Pues eso me gustaría. So I think in my case um, I don't drive, so maybe provide transportation when they have social connection as activities. That's my suggestion. Yo estoy de acuerdo en lo que dijo él de que necesita más fondos y más apoyo este programa. ¿verdad? para poder uh, hacer más cosas de lo que ahora están haciendo. Y lo único personal que yo quisiera que cambiaran es el tiempo de visita. Yo quisiera dos horas mínimo. <laughs> so, I agree with everything that he said. I think that this program needs more funding, more support, and because then they can do more. And personally, I just would like to change the time of the visits. I would like two hours. <laughs> Thank you, guys. We appreciate it. So what we wanted to do was open it up to you guys. Did anyone have any questions? I think there's microphones. Oh, no. Patrick's going to come around and give you guys the mic. Hi. Thank you for your words of wisdom. Um, if you had a friend or someone who wasn't quite sure home visiting was for them, what would you tell them? Oh, I didn't hear that one part of it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Do you need we, we actually had this uh, happen. Um, so we were in this program. We have a friend who. Uh, had a baby just before us who didn't know about this program. So uh, when she came over to visit, we, you know, we shared, you know, you know, uh, you know, the wonderful benefits that we had. And it just so happens that she's pregnant again, you know, and having her second baby. So I believe that she's going to be searching out to take the program, um, you know, because she basically had to find things out on her own. So you know, when we tell, you know, told her, it's like you can have a you know, real nurse come to visit you, it saves you, you know, travel time, trying to take a two to three week old baby, put them in a car seat, you know, travel and the, the stress of doing that, that you know, being able to have that kind of benefit brought to, brought to you is, uh, you know, is immeasurable. You know, and she absolutely agrees. And, and she has a, you know, a two year old. So you know, trying to travel with a two year old. So you know, that's, you know, one of the things that we've really communicated to her is, you know, look, you, these benefits brought to you, uh, you know, without the, the stress of traveling. Yeah, she's the one uh, who had to switch to formula from breastfeeding to, because she she given up. But um, now she's, uh, her baby's having a, you know, some reaction to the formula. So she's in the middle, okay, I can't go back to breastfeeding or, you know. That kind of time, I think the real nurse could really um, support mothers like her. You know, I don't think she's the only one. You know, because breastfeeding has so much benefit, and a lot of moms, you know, want to challenge. But going through that and then really win it, that takes a lot of support. So. Um, I would definitely recommend it. I would, uh, I've actually told some of my friends already, um, so I would definitely recommend that they pay attention to when that visitor comes into the hospital. Um, that's what I would do. Well, pues yo le diría, pues que, pues que aproveche el, la oportunidad. Por ejemplo, yo tengo una amiga que apenas tiene dos semanas que tuvo su bebé y le recomendé, pero ella dice no porque, 
porque este, pues a lo mejor es, yo no quiero agarrar nada del gobierno. Y entonces le digo, pero pues tiene que escuchar las pláticas porque ya lo han dado mucha información y le digo, eso no… Y ya pues dijo, ya pues voy a ver, pero ya no lo puede agarrar porque ya, pues ya fue demasiado tarde. Y entonces pues ahora tengo otra amiga que está embarazada y ella dice que sí lo va a agarrar. So I will tell my friends to take advantage of this program. Um, I have um, a friend who just had a baby, uh, but she is said that she didn't want to uh, take advantage of the program because she doesn't want to get any government benefits. I did tell her that there is a lot of good information that she could benefit from the program, but it's kind of late for her because she already had her baby, so she can't join the program anymore. But I do have another friend, and I also told her about the program, and she's going to be joining. Yo no solo le diría a mis amigos, sino a cualquier persona, y incluso lo hago, porque este programa te educa como padre, te educa para tener una mejor familia, te educa para tener una mejor sociedad, porque la sociedad empieza desde el círculo familiar y si nosotros como padres estamos educados y tenemos los beneficios de este programa con esta información, pues qué más puedo decir, ¿no? Todo mundo necesitamos educarnos. So I would not only tell my friends, but everyone, and as a matter of fact, I do, I do tell everyone about this program, uh, because I think it is important. It educates parents, it educates the family, and it educates society. And I think that um, it's important for the families, the entire family circle to be educated. Um, and if parents are educated and informed, just imagine the benefits that we can get. So I do share about this program with everyone. Okay, thank you. Um, I think because of timing, I think we're gonna end it right here, but can we give a round of applause to our families that have participated? Thank you so much for sharing your stories and experiences. First five, or we do have a couple of gifts for you guys before you head out, um, and I'll thank you again. All right, before we uh, head to our last break, it's time for Mentimeter. Take out your phone. And the question is, in one word, what keeps you motivated to do the work you do? So again, as a reminder, menti.com, the code is 806384, money. In one word, what keeps you motivated to do the work you do? Uh, money, children, families, making a difference, passion, change, love. Families, justice, bond, growth, interaction. I like the money emoji. Oh, hello. He, does he want to pick the raffle All right, a lot of good words up here. Support, compassion, experience, positive, paycheck, my heart, my own birth, clients, family preservation. All right. And it's also uh, raffle time. He's got, he's got the ticket. We'll get it back in a second. Can I get the ticket, please? One seven five zero six four eight one seven five zero six four. Anyone? Anyone? Who's the winner? Someone's waving. <laughs> 